building muscles with weights, without weights, but building muscles, getting in shape, getting fit, getting the muscles built in tone. Is there only one way? Is there only one way for me to build my triceps right here? Is it only one way for me to build my delts? Is it only one way for me to build my traps? Is it? Is it my way or highway? Or is there more than one way to build any muscle group in your body? Is it? Yes. As a trainer, you know, in the Army, when I was in the Army, went to school to be a master fitness trainer, train hundreds of guys in fitness with weights and without weights on how to build their bodies up. And my take on it when it comes to fitness and building muscles is that I teach the beginner to where they're at. I teach them to where they're at. If you're just starting out and you say, look, I want to build I want to build muscles. I want to start lifting weights. I want to get bigger. I want to get toner, whatever the case may be. We'll start where they are at. Okay. But lifting weights, it's not a one street, one way street, only one way to do it. It's not one way. Well, you got to tear something. You only tear something if you put too much weight on there starting out, or if you've been lifting for a while and put too much weight on there. That's when the problem is going to begin. It's not so much about technique. You go to the gym, LA Fitness, all these big gyms or wherever you want to go to. I just named one of them. You know, you go there, these big old bodybuilder guys is in there. They are doing whatever they want to do. They're lifting the weights behind their arm, over their head. They can do everything. The reason they can do everything, because they started out from scratch and they built muscles. They started out light and they built their way up. It's not that this uh, individual coming in can't do that same technique. They just can't do it with that amount of weight. There's not one way to build muscles, what I found out. There's not one way for an individual to build itself up, whether lifting weights or non-weight. If a person does a push-up and goes down and say he don't go all the way down to where I want him to go, well, I say, well, that's wrong. You're not going all the way down. And that's probably true that he's not going all the way down. But his, his chest is still contracting. His tricep is still contracting. He may not get there as quick as he did him the proper way as far as development. But I can't tell him that you're not working the chest. I can't say, well, you're not really working your chest because you are working your chest. You're just not going all the way down and going through the full range of motion. And that brings me to this point. You know, when a person is working out, and you're working out for the muscles, you're working out, say for example, you're working, you're working your tricep. We use the tricep, for example, right now. If I grab this dumbbell, and if I take it all the way back right here and lock out, oh, you're not going back far enough. Oh, really? I'm not going back far enough for you? Because I got tricep muscles, okay? It, 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 something must be working. It, is, it, is it my way or highway? Or is it the way somebody, they, they want you to do it another way? Well, you're going to tear your rotator cuff. You're not going to tear anything. You need to have a proper weight, okay? Proper weight. If this is your technique to go back and lock out right there and hold it, that is sufficient. You just got to make sure you got the proper amount of weight. The thing I'm simply getting at is that this is not rocket science. You know, I know, I know, you know, us personal trainers, you know, you know, we, you know, we, we, we know everything, <laughs> you know, and you know, the world, you know, you know, you know, around, around us. But anyway, it's not rocket science. If I take this dumbbell right here, for example, right, right. And if I take this dumbbell and reach it across here, back here, right, I'm doing a workout, right. I'm going to do three sets of 30, okay? I got the proper amount of weight, all right? And, and if I say I'm working my trap muscle, okay? When I feel over there, I feel my trap muscle. However, I feel my delt and I feel my forearm. Oh, well, you're really working your delt. You're not really working your traps. I'm 
work in all of it. Now, that you may want to add to it and say, well, if you want to target your traps even more, this right here, uh, another exercise or whatever, a shoulder roll with it weights, you know, with two dumbbells, you know, more weight could, you know, help you get there a little quicker, you know, a little bit more targeting, but it's not going to still gonna stop, not going to stop you from working other muscles. The neck bone connected to the shoulder bone, the dick bone, you know, you know how it goes and it goes on and on. You are going to work, always work more than one muscle groups. You know, one muscle group. That's just the way it is. You go out here and run or even walk however before you want to walk. You are working your entire legs, whether you like it or not. Well, I just want to work my, uh, I just want to work my calves. Well, you're working your whole legs, whether you like it or not. Now, if you want to do something to target your calves, maybe some heel raises or something like that. But, but even doing that, you're working other muscles. You got, you got your feet down there, your foot down there, you got your ankle, you got your, you got your, you got your quads here, you got your hamstrings. You know, now it may be a little bit more contraction on the calves, but nobody can say, well, you're actually working your, your hamstrings. No, you're working your entire muscle group. Again, you can add to it and give a little bit more critique about what can be added to target that muscle more but you cannot tell a person they're not working that muscle group when they are working that muscle group. This is just a fitness thing, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. one muscle group don't work by itself. Then say, well, I want to work, I want to work my, I want to work my forearms. Okay, take the weight up like this right here, right? Use this dumbbell, just working your forearms, right? Okay. Well, actually, you're working your biceps. Look at you. That is incorrect. <laughs> Once again, fitness, working out one-on-one, -on -one, you are working several different muscle groups. Not only are you working your bicep, yeah, you are correct. I am working my forearms, okay? I can feel it in my traps, back here, my, I mean my triceps back here, okay? And I can actually feel it in my delts, okay? But the answer is not that you are wrong. No, the answer is that if you want to target that even more, this right here, you know, you can add this to it. But you can't tell nobody what they're not working. This is not rocket science. I know sometimes we think, you know, we want it to be rocket science, but it's not. It's not. Okay? You want to lift this weight up right here. Okay? Okay? You can feel it in your delts. You can feel it in your forearms, you can feel it in your biceps. It's not one way, a highway. It's not that you're doing it wrong. You take the weight right here, you come out right here, you lock out right there, okay, you come back. Come back and lock out. No matter what anybody says, you are working your triceps. You may not be doing it their way, but your triceps are contracting, fill them. It's not rocket science. Feel them. Well, you're not going far enough back. What, for you? Because the muscles are there. How did the muscles get there? Well, they keep working a lot faster. No, 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 no. It worked however you want them to work. You can increase the reps. You can increase the weight. It's all kind of ways to get there. It's not one way or highway. It's not just my way. It's not just your way. This is not rocket science. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, you know, we all, I know we all want to be important, but it's not rocket science. It's really not. You know, the most important thing with working out, one of the most important thing is making sure when you start working out that you do not go in there and try to see what the bodybuilder guy has been doing for the last 15 years. There's nothing wrong with their technique. The problem is you don't have the muscles to go in there and grab that weight and try to do all of the stuff they do. You may call the stuff they do crazy, but they have the muscles in their body to build it up. I would listen to them before I listen to any trainer because they have done it. They have done it. And most people are going to listen to them before they listen to any trainer when it comes to building muscles, you know, on different techniques or whatever. You just got to make sure you have the right amount of weight on there. Do not 
go in there and see them doing this right here back there and you go in there and try to pick up a 50 pound dumbbell to where you going we really are going to tear your rotator cup to where they they're not going to tear anything because they have built themselves up over time to be able to do that you have not get back to my point though it is more than one way to build weights and get in shape. Well, the right way. What's the right way? The right way is make sure you got the right amount of weight on there. And if you're going to do biceps, curls, if you're going to do whatever, you've got to make sure you start out with the right amount of weight. Because you can do what the so-called right way all you want to. If you got too much weight on there, that's when the tear, that's when the strain, that's when the pain is going to come. When you start grabbing too much weight, that's number one. Number two, you got to make sure you warm up and stretch out before you just walk in there and grab anything in the first beginning. You got to make sure you stretch out and make sure you're prepared before you go in there and start messing with anything. Number three, you don't want to overwork your muscles. You don't want to put so much weight on there to where and you get the muscle failure by trying to build muscles. And once you get them there, and then you come back and you just keep on all throughout the day on that muscle. Well, then you can you can you can fatigue that muscle. Then you can start going into ligaments and uh, and tissues and things of that nature, cartilages. If you're not careful, that's when you can start getting into that kind of stuff right there. Okay, but as far as how you lift weights and what kind of technique you use or do or see somebody else doing, you can do it too, but you can't do it with the amount of weight they are doing it with. Well, if you hold it right here, you tear your, you tear your rotator cup. Well, you may tear your rotator cup. That don't mean everybody that's gonna tear their rotator cup. That, that's something you might do, okay? It's not one way or highway. It's that if you start out with two pound dumbbells, a five pound dumbbell and doing it that way, and build up over time, that may be fine for him. But it's not me to tell you that that is the wrong war. Who, who am I? Who am I? The, the, the bodybuilder guy in the gym, he did it that way. He been doing it that way for 15, 20 years. The guy's cut up. I listen to him any day. You know, he can give me some pointers and I've been in, I've been in the game for a long time and he can give, he can give me some pointers on, on weightlifting. Because he's done done it. He has the model to show what he's done. He has it. The guy in the gym, the bodybuilder. Not, not some guy walking around trying to be important. You know, you, 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 it's more than one way to build muscle. Well, if you do it that way, you're going to hurt your arm. Why? Why are you going to hurt your arm? Why? Lighter weight, okay? And then, and then do the exercise until you build yourself up. There's no such thing as that. The technique has to be over here. It has to be. It has to be? Really? Really? Yeah, it has to be a certain point. You got too much weight on there. Because you are going to tear something if you got too much. Again, too much weight. I have said that a hundred times. Too much weight. Too much weight. When you still, I mean, you got to start somewhere. And even as you work out, you got to have a proper amount of weight as you work out. That's when the tear comes in. That's when the strain comes in. That's when the pain. I, I can't reiterate that enough. But don't get so caught up in my way or highway, his way or highway. Yo, you didn't hold your arm over here. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. I do this right here. I'm building my triceps. Okay? It's in my forearms. I can feel it in my shoulders. I can feel it in all the muscle groups. Just pick one. Wait, you're not quite doing it. You are, you're actually building your shoulder. Well, I feel it in my shoulders and tricep. Do you get where I'm going with this? You know, the criticism and be critical, you know, should come in that if you want to target a certain muscle, you know, this right here may enhance. You're working it, but if you want to target it, even more or contract it even more, this may help. For example, 
bicep. If I say, you know, if I put my hand behind my uh, forearm, okay, on my tricep here, and just try to target my biceps, well, this right here may enhance the contraction. But it still don't stop my forearms from working. <laughs> it still don't stop several muscle groups from working right here. You know, so, so, so this critical thing of everything is wrong and there's a mind way and moving over one inch to the left and one inch to the right for what? You're going to tear it. You're not going to tear anything. The proper amount of weight. Okay. Make sure you are stretching and make sure you are warming up before you work out. Okay. It doesn't matter what the technique is. It's the matter of do you have the muscles to do what you're doing? If you don't have the muscles to put that weight out there and do that, you should not be doing that. If you are, if you, you hell bent on doing it that way, like that right there, well, okay. Okay. Make sure you got two pound dumbbell, five pound dumbbell, 10 pound dumbbell. Know where you're starting at. Okay. So you don't hurt yourself. But it's no such thing as it has to be here. Uh, bring it over two inches. One is to the left. One is to the right. That's not true. Any technique is okay as long as you got the right amount of weight and as long as you have the muscles there to do it. And lower your weight. If you lower the weight down to a one pound dumbbell, you can do almost anything. I mean, if you're a duck, come on now. One pound dumbbell, you can do anything somebody else can do in the gym. Okay, as long as you got a one pound dumbbell. Now, I know most of them got 75 pound dumbbell in each hand and 50 pound. Well, you ain't there yet. But you can do that too, okay, all day long what they're doing as long as you have the proper amount of weight. Okay, that's the most important thing. Not so much that you're wrong. You just got to make sure where you're starting out at and know that you're just starting out and know where you're at. And know that you can't lift the kind of weight that they're lifting in any technique. This is master fitness, the building of a machine.